Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 21 of Civilization 5 as Russia. And we are almost at the end of this game, I think. We are working on the three rocket boosters in our three different cities. I wish we had a little bit more production, but I don't think there's much we can do about that now. So all we really need to do is uh, research the tech that allows us to build the final two rocket parts. Those are going to be the things that are most time consuming. Would be nice if we could get a couple more um, tenants for our ideology. Ugh, ideology. That way we could uh, use some money to buy the last part. But we'll have to see how that goes. We'll keep saving up some gold where we can. And we have a cargo ship here. Where were you going before? You were going to... Out of the two, they're both pretty much the same. I don't see what real difference it makes. But we'll just send you back out. Keep that money coming in. See, Spain still have a few carriers around. They're probably at war with somebody. We can build a trading post over here. It isn't really all that useful. Um, what might be slightly more useful would be a farm. I mean, it's, on, it's not fresh water, but we can get a farm there. Get a mine over here so we've got a bit more production if we want. Either way, things are going quite well. We've got a lot of academies. We are getting, I think, 12 base science from each of these academies, which is really, really good. There's Spain moving some... Uh, aircraft around onto their carriers, so they're off somewhere. We still don't have a particularly impressive army. I think I've actually done quite well, um, considering that I haven't had a, had an army. So this has now been captured by the Netherlands. That is a little bit annoying. We knew it was going to happen anyway. It doesn't really make a huge deal of difference. And um, I don't have the least wonders in the world, which is odd, oddly enough. Uh, so gold per turn. We were buying incense, were we? Uh, we're actually looking for ivory and silk now. Does anybody have any ivory? Spain has ivory. Do we have anything that Spain want? Probably not. What about if we wanted to buy your ivory for nine gold per turn? Would you be willing to do that? Yes, you would. Fantastic. Uh, we could buy whales and spices and... Oh, do we have incense? Were you buying incense from us? I, I have spare incense. Are you willing... We have a declaration of friendship, right? So you give me uh, um, all of your uh, gold. Your 277 gold. 277. And that's about two gold per turn. One gold per turn. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit more money in the, in the, uh, in the bank. So we could get spices and whales if we want to. We don't really need to. We've got enough happiness going on anyway. It just means that we'll get a little bit of extra growth in Wilsonia and Moscow. And it all helps. Spain has denounced the Netherlands. Fairly legit. I'm still quite disappointed the lack of uh, strategic resources I got in this game. It's very hit and miss whether or not you get them. I often wonder, I mean, obviously we know that the AI does cheat in this game. I mean, that's the whole point of playing it on a high difficulty level. You're just giving the AI more cheats. But I really do wonder sometimes if the AI actually is programmed to know where the resources are, even if it hasn't discovered the tech, so that it can settle the best cities. There we go. Cities love the king. Upcoming session... Gold per turn from Theodora, incense to Theodora. So we were selling incense to Theodora. Theodora no longer wants incense though, so that's not really very good for us. We shall carry on. Polynesia has denounced Byzantium. So in 14 turns we'll have our first rocket booster. In 16 turns we will have the last rocket booster. Darius has completed the Apollo program. It's actually quite good timing for us. Um, we were buying coal from you, were we? We will probably carry on. We probably still need it for some reason. We're at zero. We are using it for factories. So, what's that number there, actually? 1 of 46, 2 of 40, 1 of 1. No idea what those numbers mean. Uh, anyway, 14 turns we'll be able to build the stasis chamber. So, we'll be able to start that. To, um, as soon as we've got the tech, or just about anyway. What have we got here? We have a worker. You have finished that. No point building a mine there. It is out of everybody's range. We can go and build a mine on that tile, I suppose. Not really a lot of use upgrading some of these tiles at the moment. Doesn't look like we're due to pop a great scientist anytime soon. We will be getting another great writer in 13 turns. I think I will be using him to write a political treatise so that we can get some free culture. Not much point going for tourism now, so 
Plus, we're not really having any ideology problems, which is really nice. We've got an ideology that's actually useful for the victory type that we're going for, and it is the preferred ideology, so we're not having any happiness problems. So I actually like that outcome. So Cotton and Incense, he's probably... Now, hang on a minute. He doesn't have any Cotton anymore. That's disappointing. Um, do we have a declaration of friendship? We do. So if we take your 199 gold and then um, three gold per turn, yeah, probably lowballed it a little bit there. That's our um, golden age is now ended. We are very, very unlikely to. What was that? No, I entered another era. We're very, very unlikely to get another golden age now. 104 turns. How are we doing on the research agreements? We still have a few. Two turns, nine turns, eleven turns, fifteen turns. We'll actually get nanotech earlier than I suspected. Um, that is... Is that a hill? It's a hill. Build a mine. We won't be bothering to get any more um, research agreements before this game is over. Spain wants to go to war with the Netherlands. I see Spain actually has cotton now. I could get cotton from Spain if I wanted. The point is, though, there's no real reason to get any more luxuries than I need. I'm in positive happiness. The only reason to be in surplus positive happiness is to get points towards the golden age. And as the game should be over long before that happens, it really isn't worth bothering. So there's no point buying any of this stuff. And unless we need it to make a city grow, the only thing we need is silk in Githyoni and we don't have access to silk from anybody. So we shall save our money. And look at Spain. Spain have got almost 32,000 gold. The Netherlands not too far behind with 20,000 gold. No, we don't want to go to war. Now, apparently, according to this, Spain would still like horses and iron. If that is true, I'd very much like them to buy them from me. We'll, we'll give it a try, actually, at the end of this turn. We'll see if they're willing to do it. There's probably not going to be a lot going on over the next few turns, so most of it is just going to be me talking. There's a research agreement um, finished, and we have growth in Moscow. Let's go and see where it has put you. Uh, that's not a great tile. I'd prefer something with a bit more production. Let's go and work that one there. We are not starving, so that is fine. Or do we just want to go all-out production? Knock a turn off. I think we go all-out production. Actually, if we go there, we might still grow once more before the end of the game, and we still get 11 turns to build that. We'll do that. That'll work. Uh, what was we going to do? Spain. There we go. Let's go and see if they would be willing to buy four horses for... You've got so much gold. Just give me the gold. 270 gold. No, they're, they're not willing to do it. Uh, what about the iron? Are you willing to buy the iron? No. Okay. The only the, the way this thing works with the resources on the uh, enhanced user interface, basically resources at the bottom means resources that you have and they don't. It doesn't mean that they want to buy them. So just because it's showing horses and showing iron, that doesn't mean that Spain want to buy horses and iron. It just means that I have horses and iron and Spain doesn't. Um, same here with marble. It means I've got marble and Darius doesn't. Doesn't mean that he'll buy the marble. And I might not even have a spare marble. It'll still show even if you don't have one spare. So that's all that that means. Declaration of friendship has expired. I don't think anyone's going to... We're actually friendly with everyone, including Darius, despite the number of um, times we uh, stole tech from him earlier on. World leader, we're going to vote for ourselves because why would you vote for anybody else? So let's go and do that. Still 37 votes needed to win, and the most anyone has is 14 from the Netherlands. So I don't think we have to worry about that happening. Obviously, the AI would never vote for anyone other than themselves, and you're not going to vote for anyone other than yourself because you don't want anybody else to win. So we're five turns away from getting nanotechnology now. We won't be able to start work on that as soon as... Uh, the technology is done because we still have to finish the other rocket boosters. That wouldn't have been the case if we had not have got that research agreement. There's still a few more research agreements to come. So what we do need to do, no world leader chosen, there's a surprise. We need to make sure that we are queued up for everything else that we need. And we are queued up into particle physics. After particle physics, we probably want to go into something like the internet, globalization, stealth, future tech. Everything's queued up now. We don't ever have to bother looking at the tech screen again. 
So we'll just keep carrying on. Spain has denounced Indonesia. Spain's got really, really stompy. I know, uh, I can't remember who it was, so I do apologise, but somebody did comment on a previous video and said they thought that Japan started down there on the island with Spain. And as a result, Spain uh, ate Japan and became more powerful. But I don't think they did. All of the um, cities down here are all... Um, are all Spanish cities and city-states. Japan was actually up here somewhere, I believe. Um, if the map will stop moving around. I'm sure Japan was around here. There's um, Kyoto. Kyoto's actually a... Kyoto's a city-state? So, Japan was up here somewhere. I don't know how many cities they actually managed to build. I can only see one... Um, Japanese city, which is Kyoto. So, uh, so Japan was up here, and somehow at some point it looks because I know it was taken, I think originally by Polynesia, um, but uh, then it seems to have been taken by the city state. It looks like it was taken by Valletta. So that's actually quite weird. One of the city, one of the capitals being controlled. We can actually see that if we look at victory progress, and um, it says that Japan has not built a capital city. Well. Of course they have. It's just controlled by a city-state, which is really weird. Anyway, let us um, let us carry on. But yeah, Japan was on the uh, the the larger continent. Spain ha Spain were on their own down there at the bottom. William is plotting against me. Is he really? It wouldn't surprise me actually. I could probably uh, hold him off if I need to. Isabella's embarked an army. Now, has she really? We're friendly with Spain. Actually, our declaration of friendship has expired. We need to get that back. Uh, we don't need open borders with you. Polynesia's lost his capital. Wow, I'm surprised by that. Polynesia's actually gotten quite wrecked now. Persia's blobbing out. Now, let's see if Isabella is still willing to be friends. Uh, discuss declaration of friendship. Ah, she must decline. We've got a bit of money. It might be time to purchase a battleship or 11. So we'll see how this happens. Githionia has grown. You're working, again, sea tiles, because there's not an awful lot you can do. Uh, let's go and just put you in the factory then for straight up extra production. Promoter unit, we are going to give you targeting against naval units. You guys have finished that. There isn't really anything else that I can get these um, workers to do. All of the other tiles are more than three tiles out of my uh, reach. So I think we'll just put you in a city. So we'll see what happens with Spain. They're probably going to attack the Netherlands. I would assume that the Netherlands is where they're heading. Because Spain has denounced them. Spain declined, it, uh, Spain declined our declaration of friendship. But at the same time... Um, they haven't denounced us or anything. But we are a different ideology, which is probably the reason for that. We actually have a spare oil. Uh, marble to Isabella ended. Doesn't appear that she wants any more. We were trading marble for salt. Doesn't look like she has that now. So we've got this battleship. I think we'll just keep it in the city for the time being. I don't think that we are going to be attacked, but... It's surprising how much damage you can do with just a couple of battleships if they're defending your cities. You're just going to go for sleep to sleep because I've got nothing else for you to do right now. You want to buy marble from me, do you? Uh, as much as I'd like oil, how much money do you have? Nothing. And I've got somebody else that'd be willing to buy it from me, so... Sorry, Polynesia. Besides, you're about to get wrecked. I probably should have taken just flat money from them. There we go. Um, I'd actually, well, I don't need the oil, do I? Let's take the 145 gold. Uh, 145, and it'll probably be like four gold per turn or something like that. Yep, that's fine. We're back over 2,000 gold again now, so we can probably afford a spaceship part. And worst case scenario, if we do get attacked, we can afford a couple more battleships. So that should be good enough. So, six turns in Githionia and Moscow, eight turns in Wilsonia. Nanotech is about to finish, then we'll be able to build uh, XCOM squads, actually. So, there's um, Nanotech. Uh, we've got a caravan here that was going to Amsterdam. We'll keep that going. Let's go and um, 
Yeah, nothing else to do really, so we'll just carry on. What have we got here? Another cargo ship. You were going to um, Taurus so, or Tarsus. Keep doing that. And onwards we go. So now we're working on telecommunications. Uh, we have to get that done because it's a prerequisite to getting the final tech. That's why it takes quite some time. Because we've got 16 techs for telecoms, 16 techs for mobile tactics, and then 19 techs for particle physics. But bear in mind, we do have a couple of research agreements. Um, still, Well, three research agreements, actually, still to pop. We could try and get one more, but I don't think it would make any difference. It's very unlikely that it would pop before we got the tech anyway. So there's another uh, research agreement completed. That one was with Spain. We won't be able to get that back anyway, so no point worrying about that. Telecommunications now is almost done, so that worked out quite nicely. We were sending some production down to Wilsonia. Let's keep that one going, because Wilsonia's still got relatively low production compared to the other cities, and we do need to get these things finished. So yeah, things, things are doing well. We're going all right. It's looking so far, and I don't want to speak too soon and jinx it, but it is looking so far like it will be a win. And I admit it may not have been the um, sort of cleanest of wins. It may not have been the most optimal of wins, but if it is a win, I'll take it. It'll be a legit win as far as I'm concerned. That's two wins in a row on Deity. So we've discovered telecommunications. That is fantastic. Now we're working on mobile tactics. That shouldn't take too long either. Um, so there's another worker with nothing to do. Let's go and put you to sleep. So yeah, Mobile Tactics is saying 17 turns, but we've got another research agreement that is about to pop. So now you want to go to war with Persia. You didn't want to be friends with me, but you want me to go to war with you with Persia and with the Netherlands. So yeah, Sp Spain are really becoming a powerhouse in this game. And even though they're at the top of the scores, I really don't think they're going to um, to win here. So what were we providing gold for? Let's see what happens when the turn ends. All the city-states are obviously messing around doing something. There we go. Seven turns left on mobile tactics now. There's another research agreement completed. Um, gold per turn. Incense. Looks like we were selling incense and that's gone away. Okay, may adopt a policy. Let's go in here. We need, we still need three more tenants before we can get this level three one. So we're probably not going to be able to get it actually. Um, let us go for happiness from National Wonders. 17 puts us up to 26. So that's quite good. We are about to get a great writer actually. There's Isabella completing the Apollo program. So we are still quite the way ahead in terms of tech. Um, 64 for Spain, 64, 67 for the Netherlands, 62, 57, Byzantium's way behind, and we're 73. So we're in front of the Netherlands by six techs, and they're in second place. He's just completed the Pentagon, that is fine, not too bothered about that. In two turns, we will have some more parts, there's the great writer. So let's go ahead and um, I think that was... Can we select the Great Writer? There we go. Political treats here, which will be 2,256 culture. It's taken us down to 10 turns to get the next policy. It is probably still a little bit too late to do anything with him. But at the end of this turn, we should find that we have two of the three rocket boosters. And then we'll have to see which of these two cities has the most production. And I think they're, they're not. I think Githionia has the most production, if I'm honest. So let's have a look. There we go. There's one of them. There's the other one. So we are going to add you to the spaceship. We're going to move you. We can't move you down there because there's a worker in there. So we're going to move you down there. And add you to the spaceship. There's all the rocket booster parts done. So, Githionia has 68 production. Moscow has 67 production. So, it's slightly higher in Githionia. Um, so, we are going to go ahead and build the stasis chamber. That'll take 18 turns. And in Moscow, I mean, we could always try and build a wonder and use the um, great uh, engineer to finish it off. We could work on the Great Firewall. That would give us some additional culture. Reduce enemy spies from spying on us. 
Do you want to take that risk? I don't think we're going to need the great engineer for anything else. Let's go ahead and try and build that. We'll move the engineer in. We'll hurry production. It won't finish it, but it takes it down to seven turns. And we're well ahead in terms of tech, so that should be fine. You can trade with the Netherlands. Slightly more gold for doing that. And we'll go on to the next turn. Not too sure how many videos this is going to be. I know, of course, there isn't really an awful lot going on. We're going to have to wait at least 18 turns. Well, not even that. It's going to be however many turns it takes to get the tech. So we're looking five turns remaining for Mobile Tactics, plus the 19 turns or so. Uh, we're not due to get a great scientist anytime soon to be able to uh, pop that. So... But we do have one more research agreement with Theodora, which is going to end in two turns. That should make things uh, speed along a little. We've got that worker. We will just probably... Um, let's go and keep him up here, I suppose. So let's go and put you there. Put you to sleep. Another unit needing orders. We've got a cargo ship. Uh, you can carry on going to the Netherlands because it all seems to be very good money. And that is the end of the turn. So I'm going to end things there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization V as Russia. I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.